Okay. All right. Okay. I, I also uh, have the dog. Oh my gosh, is that Zara? Is that baby Zara back there, Mia? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's so big. <laughs> so cute. Oh. Does she like doing art with you, Mia? Does she like to color sometimes? Maybe. When they're young like that, sometimes it's hard to color. Oh my gosh, Liam, what's happening? Half your head is cut <laughs> off, Liam. Oh, it's a hat. Mm. Oh, it's this. <laughs> oh my gosh. My little pastels. All right. So we're just waiting. We're going to wait a few, two more minutes and then we will start, okay? My I'm just waiting feet, to see if two of you will We are on the top of the chair, like at the railing of the chair. Oh my. <laughs> so you are. Like basically, like laying down on the table. <laughs> You're so excited. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad. And also wearing a panda shirt. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, Very cute. So and cute. us. And dogs. And cats. And hamsters. <laughs> and bunnies. What's your favorite animal, Helena? Uh, that's kind of hard. Oh, that's a hard. Is that a hard one? Not for me. Yes, because I like all the animals, even tigers. <laughs> I think my favorite animal is a lion. Mine? I actually have a sweatshirt that is a that has a lion lion on mm -hmm. the back, but it's made out of gems. Like tiny. Oh wow, that sounds very like, fancy. Like you just stick it on there on stuff. All right. What about you, Ruhi? What's your favorite animal? Actually, I like giraffe. giraffe. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. What about you, Mia? What's your favorite animal? I like pandas. Pandas. Oh, they're so cute. I like when like they hold their feet and they roll around on the floor. Yeah. Because they're big and fluffy and round. What about you, Liam? What's your favorite animal? Well, I love like um a lion, tiger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded, I said I think it glitched so like it sounded That's okay. No words. Oh. Is that Tuya? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the call. We were waiting for you. Now you're here. All right. So, everybody needs a pencil. All right, everybody needs like a regular pencil and an eraser. All right, just in case. We're gonna have our paper be tallways and portrait, okay? All right. And we're gonna have to color oil pastels, okay? So make sure you have your oil pastels ready. I have mine ready. Not mine. Everybody see, mine are here. And I also have my glitter pens. We're going to need our glitter pens, okay? Ooh, fresh pastel. All right. Let me just make sure I have all my stuff ready to go. Okay. All right. Today we're doing our rock and roll self-portrait, everybody. All right. So we're going to do a self-portrait, and we're going to make ourselves into rock stars. Okay? I've done this before. You've done this before? I don't think so. Well, okay. Another, um, <laughs> so first, you're going to use your pencil. So everybody show me that they're holding their pencil. I'm holding a marker because I don't have, because I need a marker. <laughs> Does everybody have their pencil? Ms. Maddie, do we use the small piece or big piece? The big one. The big one. I don't know. Big paper for the self-portrait. All right, good, Ruhi. You have your pencil. Good. Liam, you have your pencil? Good. Mia has hers. Helena has hers. All right, Tuya, you ready? Good. Okay, so we're going to do step-by-step -step for the face, and then everybody's going to have different accessories and hair and, like, you know, like, maybe earrings and maybe, like, oh, my gosh, maybe a tattoo. I don't know how rock and roll you want to be. We'll figure it out when we get there, okay? So first we're going to do a self-portrait. So 
Your paper needs to be the same direction mine is, portrait. And we're going to make a head. All right, I want everybody to make a head like that. Okay, can you see mine? Maybe I'll try to bring it a little bit closer. All right, everybody make a head, make it big on your paper. Exactly, now start the bottom. Take your time. Don't rush, okay? Yeah. All right. Everybody can take their time. No worries. We're all learning together. This is going to be a little bit of a learning process because I can't be there to help you. <laughs> okay? So don't worry. It's all you. All right. Now, once you've done that, and if you're still working on it, don't worry, I'm just going to tell you the next step is to make lightly with your pencil. Okay, I'm going to use light blue. You're going to make one line going down the middle. This is what I told This and one line going across like this, That's halfway. Right. All right. Let me make sure that I am solid. <laughs> All right, can everybody see me? Yeah. Everybody and just draw it lightly, draw it lightly. Good. And All right, once you have made your line going down and line going across, perfect, perfect. has everybody done that? Tulia, have you done it? Perfect. Good. Um, Don't stress, just take your time. We're relaxing, we're having a calm, relaxing art time. Draw plus. Draw plus. All right, how are you doing, Mia? Lightly, 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 lightly. How's it going, Ruhi? Do you okay? Okay, good. Yeah. You can go that, that's good. Okay. That's good. Love it. Now, here comes some of the tricky parts, okay? We're going to do our eyes, all right? And we're not going to measure out our eyes today. You guys know where the eyes go. We're going to just put the eyes up there, all right? So everybody, I want you to pay attention to the shape of your eye. Your eye is kind of like a football shape, right? It's like a rainbow line and then a smile line. And they go to points at the end, okay? I'll show you on mine and then you can do yours, okay? Let me see. I'm going to go right here on the line. This is in the middle. On the line we made. And make one rainbow line and then one smile line. And I'm going to put them together like that, okay? And then I'm gonna do it on the other side because we have two eyes. Let's see, I think Hannah's here. Hi, Hannah. Hey. All right, Hannah, so what you need to get to, do, to uh, catch up with the project, honey, is your, a pencil, piece of paper, your oil pastels, and your glitter pens, okay? Okay, I want that. Okay, you get all those things ready, okay? All right, and then, for everybody else, make sure you have your other eye as well. All right, two footballs. Okay, I got everything already. Okay, good, Hannah. So, Hannah, what I want you to do is make sure your paper is tall, portrait like mine is. All right, good, perfect. Now put that down. You're going to draw the head. All right. And then um, we made guidelines lightly going halfway down and ha halfway across. Okay? You got it, Hannah? Okay. And then we're making our eyes. And our eyes are the shape of football. Nobody has, nobody has like circle eyes like cartoon characters, right? We all have like football shaped eyes. Wait, don't, don't mute her. Don't mute her. Don't. All right. So now that everybody has done that, we're gonna do the insides of our eyes. Now, everybody can look at my eyes. We have a circle and then an, our pupil, right? The iris and then the pupil, all right? Now, here's the thing. Your iris isn't small and there's in the middle of our eyes, right? It touches from the top to the bottom, all right? So the circle goes like this, all right? That's the colored part of your eye, all right? And then inside of that is a smaller circle for your pupil. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So everybody can do that. All right. Take your time. No stress. We're really just taking our time. <laughs> 
You got it, Hannah? You need a little, you got some assistance there? <laughs> All right. Okay, how are we doing? Liam, how are, you, how are you doing? Let me see. Put it a little closer, Liam. It's a little too bright. Good, perfect. And he did the other eye already. Gorgeous. That's right. All right. Let's see, Tuya, how you doing, hon? Beautiful. I love that. Mia, how are you doing? I can't really see it. You can't really see it? Could you see mine? You can't really see mine or are you having trouble? I'm having trouble see. seeing it. You're having trouble? Let me see yours, honey. I'm also having a little trouble. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about don't worry about it being perfect. We're all doing it in different styles. You're all different people, right? Everybody's going to have a very unique drawing because we're all different. How are you doing, Ruhi? How's it going? Good? You having any issues or are you okay? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, all right. Now we're going to do the eyebrows, okay? Now everybody has different shaped eyebrows, so I want everybody to take their fingers and kind of feel the shape of your eyebrows. Some of us have more round eyebrows. Mine are kind of like straight and then round here. You all have, you all are little kids. So you have like very small eyebrows right now. All right. Okay. So you feel your eyebrows. You're like, okay, I kind of feel the shape of my eyebrow. Okay. So then we're going to go up here. Now it's not going to touch your eye, right? We're going to go above the, actually, you know what I forgot to do? Eyelids. Guys, we forgot to put our eyelids. All right, oh, so put yeah. eyelid. Eyelid goes right above your eye. Just doing like a follow the leader line. Just like that. All right, just above it, just like that. All right, not touching, but just above it. We need eyelids or else we would not be able to blink and our eyes would get <laughs> so dry. Good, perfect, Hannah, perfect. All right, now after you do the eyelids, we're going to do our eyebrows. Okay, eyebrows are going to be a little farther up than from here, right? They're not like your eyebrows aren't down here, okay? <laughs> so they're up here. All right, so I'm going to put my eyebrow right there. All right, we're going to do it on the other side as well. Okay, now once you made a line for your eyebrow, you can add little tiny hairs coming off like this because we have little hairs coming off our eyebrows. Not a lot, because we don't have big, bushy grandpa eyebrows, <laughs> but we do have little hairs coming off, right? Nobody here has grandpa eyebrows. I'm looking, you all have very pretty eyebrows. Nobody here is a grandpa. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's now, once you fit, let's see it. Beautiful, Hannah, that looks great. I love that. Thanks. Anybody having difficulty? Anybody? No, How's you know it going, what else Liam? Let me see. Hmm, what's that, Hannah? We should also do the eyelashes. Uh, eyelashes come last if we do them. The thing with eyelashes is, look, when I stand really far, when I stand like back here, you can't see my eyelashes, right? Mm -hmm. So. We usually don't put eyelashes because you can't really see them. Let me see, Liam. All right, Liam, that looks good, but they're a little close to the eyes. So maybe erase them and make them a little bit further up, okay? Okay. So. Now here's something that you guys are going to need your fingers to feel again. Your nose actually starts up by your eyebrows. You feel right here this bone that comes down from the eyebrows? That's where your nose starts, right? So what we do is we start here at the eyebrow. We come down to about here and go back up, all right? And that's the beginning of our nose. We haven't made our nostrils yet, but that's what it should look like right now, okay, to make your nose. All right, looks a little bit like Squidward's nose at the beginning. Nice, Hannah. You can even, Hannah, you can even make it a little bit longer because right now it's a little bit short. So bring it down a little bit more, okay? It's like a long U, like you're going, woo, like a roller coaster. 
Bring it a little closer, Liam. I can't see it. Yes, that's good. Good job. Very good, Hannah. How are you doing, Ruhi? Good. Good? All right. What about you, Tuya? Beautiful, Tuya. I love that. Very cute. Just make sure when you do the tip of the nose, it's not so pointy. It's more of like a U, like a curve, okay? Let's see. All right. Okay. So now our nose is missing nostrils, right? Yeah. Right now we can't smell anything and that's horrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to make little curves right there like that. One on one side and one on the other side like that. All right. It kind of looks like nose rings. <laughs> kind of. Not yet, but you can add nose rings later when we're rock and roll, right? Unless you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Does everybody have nostrils? Yeah. Good. Ruhi's good. Tuya, you good? Good. Nice, nice. Okay. Now we're going to draw our Cupid's bow. Everybody see right here this little index? Yeah. Above my lip, everybody has one. If you put your finger right here and you lightly feel here, there's a little indent, right? Like, yeah. that, that's to space between your nose and your lip. Otherwise, our lips would be like up here and we look like crazy people and they'd see my teeth, right? So we have a little indent and that's called our Cupid's bow or our philtrum, all right? So the way that we're gonna draw this is by making a little U just like that, all right? I've been done with, once you said it, I was done. You already knew? Oh my goodness. What? I do sell fortress computer all the time. That's true. You are, Liam is definitely one of our, and Liam and Mia is our older kids in the class. They've been doing this for a while. All right, so now, what do you think? Does it look done? Feels like, I feel like we're missing I something. Miss Mia. I feel like we're missing our lips, right? <laughs> So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a little tiny U here, and that's gonna be this part of my lip. And then we're gonna make a curve like this, and a curve like this, and that's our top lip, okay? Now everybody has different shaped lips, so they're all gonna look different. Some of us have like little baby tiny lips, and some of us have big lips, all right? So everybody has different lips. You can feel your lips, figure out which ones you have, all right? So once you do that, you're gonna make another little U right here and then connect the curves like that. And that's my top lip. It kinda looks like a mustache right now, but that's my top lip. All right, everybody see that? Yes, that's good. You can even make it a little bit bigger, Hannah, because your lips aren't that tiny. You're not like little baby lips. You can make it a little bit bigger. All right. Let's see, Tuya. How's it going? Beautiful. I love that. All right, Mia, how's it going, hon? Is this better? Good. I can't hear. I think you're, are you muted, Mia? No. That is perfect. Good job, Hannah. Ruhi, how's it going? One of the people good. are missing. Good. Huh? What's that, Liam? One of the people are missing. I know. I think Helena's uh, doing it on her own, but that's okay. I'll also, I'm recording the video. I'll send it to her later if she needs it. All right. So now we're missing our bottom lip. So what we do, we make a curve like that. Oh, there it is. Everybody may just make one curve, just like Everybody that, okay? been done. Oh, you already been done? Whoa. Oh, All my right. First was, my first, it was Let's crazy. See, Hannah. 
Beautiful, yeah, Hannah. I love so that. Crazy. All right, Liam. Yeah, we are very bald right now, for sure. All right, now we're going to make our necks, right? Because right now this is a floating head, and that is so Still scary, like, and I don't like it. Still white, so, heavy hair, and no neck. We're going to make our necks. All right, so you're going to go one line like this, one line like that. You don't want your neck to be too skinny or else, you know, if you had a skinny neck, your head would be falling over all the time yeah. and you would stand up. Would this yeah. be on the ground. It would your be on the would ground. That would be, be very ground. uncomfortable. Perfect, Hannah. I love that. All right. Let's see. Let's see, Ruhi. Nice. Good. All right. Tuya, do you have a neck? Yeah? Perfect. Tuya, that is gorgeous. Beautiful neck. I couldn't have done it better. All right, Mia, how are you doing, honey? I think Mia's doing well. She seems very focused. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to give ourselves a shirt collar because we're not shirtless in our drawing. A torch or not. That's good. Right. Hey, hey, shirt or someone who can make, make a dress. Yes, you can. You can make a dress. So it's not going to show the whole thing. Our drawing space is only going to go up to like here. All right. So yeah. I'm going to show you what our shoulders are going to look like. Okay. So oh, your shoulders, like. your shoulders come out a little bit, right? And then curve down. Okay. So out a little bit and curve down. It's okay if it goes off the page a little bit. All right? I know all of these steps. Oh, well, you are a pro then, Liam. I know every step except for the new ones for the rot and roll part. All right. Does everybody have shoulders? Wonderful, Hannah. So good. How are you going? How's it doing, Ruhi? Good? Great. I love that. Tuya, how's it going? I don't know who's who. Good. Nice. Nice job. Okay, so Liam, you have to pay attention, honey. So now we're just a bald person. Yeah. <laughs> so now comes the fun part. Well, actually, first we need ears. All right, so up here by your eye, I want you to make just do it like that. All right. My ears are not going to show up. Just like that. Of course, if you make hair, then your ears will be behind the hair. That's okay. And that's what I'm doing. I'm making All right, everybody good? Nice, good job. Okay, so now comes when we get to make all different types of rock and rollers, right? So rock and roll hairstyles, some people have big fluffy hair, some people have spikes in their hair, right? Some people have like big pom pom, like ponytails and buns. Some people just wear ponytails. Some people just wear ponytails. Some people have their hair just down, right? So you can do any hairstyle you want, all right? So, what kind of hairstyles are you guys thinking? Because I know some people like doing like buns or. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do buns. I was gonna do you wanna buns. do buns? Okay, what about you two? Yeah, what do you wanna do? Buns. A bun? All right, what about you, Ruhi? You know what hair you want to do? I can't, Ruhi, I can't hear you if you're talking, honey. What, which one? I don't really know what I want. You don't really know? That's okay. We can figure it out together. What about you, Mia? <laughs> I want hair down. Hair down? Okay. And Liam, what about you? You want long hair? Big, long or hair? Mohawk. Or a mohawk. Oh, that'd be a good one. All right, so I'm going to go through, let me see, I'll use a few different colors and we can, I'll show you some styles of hair that we can do. All right, let me see what, I have to figure out what colors will show up. Male hair. Okay, so I'm going to do the buns first for those who want buns. All right, now here's the thing about hair. Your hair doesn't start up here, right? There is always going to be hair in front of your head. Otherwise, it's like your hair starting back here. Right? Yeah. We're, not bald. We're not bald from the middle front, right? No, we have hair that goes there. So you're going to put some hair like that. Should I have a mohawk? And then a little bit of hair like this. What if you're going to draw a mohawk? 
I'll show you that after them. First, I'm doing buns. All right, so this is because your hair is not painted to your head, so it comes off a little bit. Then you can either do like a fluffy bun, kind of like this, or you can do just kind of like a fun, loose circle bun like that, okay? Those are two different types of buns. That, but the one that, um, so that's what Tuya and Hannah wanted. Why, the one that one of the characters from Star Wars yeah, kind of, yeah. Like Princess Leia or the new Star Wars. Beautiful, Hannah. Now, Hannah, you can start adding some accessories, like a necklace, designing your shirt. Maybe if you want earrings. Yeah. You know, maybe if you want a nose piercing, okay? <laughs> I don't know how rock and roll you want. Let me color it in. Can I, like, um, dye the hair a little? Yes. Yes, we're going to get all into that, okay? So... Mia, you want hair down, right? Mm -hmm. So you know how to do that, right? But we'll go through it anyway. Okay, hair down, same thing, hair comes in front. And then it comes and it goes down like that. All right. Got it? And you can have it come in front if you want. All right, now for Liam, you want spikes, right? So let's go through that. All right, so Mohawk, I don't know how much, how much room do you have on top of your page, Liam? Above your head. Not very much. Okay, so let's see. What we're gonna do, you sure you want a Mohawk? Mm -hmm. well, you can have a Mohawk, that's super rock and roll. I don't know which one. So I'll show you a Mohawk anyway. Mohawk is just from the middle of your, is only a strip of hair down the middle of your head for those who don't know. So if you want like a spiky mohawk, you make a curve here and then a spike like that. And then you'd keep doing spikes going up behind your head like that. All right, and it's like it's going down. That one's a little hard to do. If you put, the, if you put the, all the hairstyles together, that really looks rock and roll. It looks crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very rock and roll. Okay, Ruhi, what do you think you want to do, honey? You have any ideas? We could do, do you want to do like pigtails coming off? Mm -mm, a hair down. Hair down? Okay, well, I did that with Mia. So you see this green one here? Mm -hmm. Is the hair coming down, okay? And when the hair comes down, you can have it either go behind the shoulder or you could have it come out in front. All right. All right, now once you've done that, once you have your hair, we can add accessories. Yes, Tulia? I'm done with my hair. You're done with your hair? Wonderful, I'm so happy. Okay. Melody, can I yes, do a Liam. mohawk and normal hair put into one? Yes, go, go ahead, try it. <laughs> All right, once you have done your hair, we're going to add a bunch of accessories. Now for me, I'm thinking, Nice, Hannah. I'm thinking I'm going to put big earrings because, you know, even in rock and roll, not just girls wear earrings, but boys wear earrings too. So, Liam, you can do some earrings if you want to. Want I'm going to put big earrings. That looks cool. Oh, you could, you could just do buns and hair down. That looks really That's good. true. That is true. People do that all the time. All right, so I'm doing big earrings. All right, and I'm gonna give myself a necklace. You could give yourself a choker. Yep, that's what I did. How'd you know, Hannah? All right, and now I'm gonna think about what kind of shirt do I wanna wear? What's a rock and roll shirt? Let's see, maybe I'm gonna have like a tank top. A tank top with, that says like something like rock. Can I put like a lightning bolt? Yes, lightning bolts. Love that idea, Liam. Can I put it around my eye? Yes, Liam, that's what I was going to do. You're stealing my ideas. <laughs> So, Liam brought up a great point. Rock and roll, in rock and roll, and people who were singers and parts of bands, 
they love to do really crazy makeup designs and things like that you know I don't know if you guys have ever seen like bands like Kiss or David Bowie or anything but the, David Bowie was famous for having a photo taken with like a giant lightning bolt painted over his eye right and then a band like Kiss they have paint all over their face right so makeup is a very rock and roll thing too but not just like eyeshadow and lipstick like all over different designs so you guys can make like hearts under your eyes or on your cheeks and like lightning bolts think about what is rock and roll right so for me if i wanted to do the lightning bolt i put it right there like that right over my eye i don't know if you guys can see that maybe i need a different sharpie There you go. Lightning bolts are very rock and roll. All right. Everybody see the lightning bolt I did there over my eye? Can you see it? Cool. All right. And then you guys, can, uh, maybe I'll do like a little heart over here. This right. is what I did for the eyes. Very I Hannah, that is amazing. I love that. Very rock and roll. All right. Now my other thought is I think I'm going to put Maybe I'm going to have like streaks in my hair where I'll put different colors because I don't need to. Yeah, that's what I color. was going to do. Oh my gosh, look at us with all these great ideas. You guys can get as creative with it as you want, okay? This is all yours. You are the artist. All right. Okay, so maybe I'm going to, I'll give myself, since I'm a uh, grown up, I'll give myself like a. A little nose ring there. Maybe I'm like that. <laughs> I would never actually get a nose ring, but and maybe since I'm wearing a tank top, I'll put like a a what? tattoo a tattoo on my arm or something like that. Or shoulder pad. Nice, that's amazing. I love that, Hannah. That's such a good idea. What I've been doing so far. Can I use the pastels to make the? So yes, we're gonna get right into pastels in one second, Hannah. So give me one minute. I'm just making sure everybody's kind of at the same place. I'm not yet. All right. So, and listen, in your background, you can kind of make any type of background you want. I'm gonna make maybe I'm gonna make like- a stage. I was gonna say maybe like stage lights behind me to show I'm on stage. Like maybe I have a light like this. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Shining, shining on me right yeah all right I just need to show and maybe another one over here to show I'm on stage maybe there's like a stage behind me looks like wood floor all right okay so now that we have all that done you're gonna that's take your happened. that's okay take your time but i'm gonna move on so everybody can keep moving if they are done okay so now you're gonna take your oil pastels okay kind of sure. and we're going to start with our skin color okay so find a color that you think kind of looks like your skin all right, I found this one. It's a little, a little bit light. Maybe I'll try this one instead. So find one that kind of looks like your skin tone. I'm a little tanner now, so maybe I need a different one, right? I have a skin tone here. Good, Hannah. All right, so find your skin tone. Find or a skin tone that you think. If you don't want to be a skin tone, you can make yourself blue. I don't care. <laughs> but I'm going to do just my skin so then the makeup comes out better. All right, now what you're going to start doing is you're going to start coloring in your face okay make sure you don't make sure you outline well actually i'm going to show you so you we understand you have to color in your face but we're going to use a slightly darker color to outline our nose so that we don't lose our nose when we're coloring this is the only one i have that's okay do you need do you need one liam so Do you need another one? Okay. All right. So trace. A good tip for tracing for coloring is to trace your shapes first, 
right? You do not want to color in your eyes if you're not meaning to. So go around your eyes so you don't get oil pastel in them. And first going around the whitening bolt, which is going to help to around the eye. Okay. That's true. That's what I did. Don't color in your eyebrow, right? Eyebrow will be a different color. All right, so everybody, color. I'm sorry I'm not talking right now because I'm so focused on coloring. Is everybody coloring their face now? Not me yet. Not yet? How about you two? Are you coloring? Not yet? Okay, that's okay. Take your time. Get in. You can do all the things. Listen, the best part about this is that I have walked you through all the steps to draw and you guys can color after this video is done by yourself and finish it up. There's no rush. I fell behind a lot. That's okay. Everybody's taking their own time. Well, at least you know the steps. Yep, everybody knows the steps, so we're all good. Don't forget to color your ears. Maybe we should. Maybe. Sometimes people forget to color their ears. Mm -hmm. Just look at your picture, right? I hear Nina on a tall. Oh yeah, she's talking in the other the other part of the room on her. She's talking to big kids. Oh, are they doing a are they doing class? Yes, there's a big kid class. And a little kid. Hi Helena, how's it going? Good. I'm so glad you're here. We can see your face. All right, so I'm gonna color my neck too. Look, she has a cool different makeup around her eyes. So you can put like a star or um, oh, yep. uh, stars are very rock and roll. That's a great oh, idea. The, the lightning bolt. Yeah, but I want to do it pink. Okay, but we have to fix the eyebrows first. So then we know exactly where it's going to start and end. <laughs> All right, everybody, make sure. Just make sure you don't have any white spots, okay? You want to color in all the little spots. Oh my goodness, so much coloring. It is very hard to color when something, your drawing is on the wall. It's harder when you um, fill behind. You're okay, Liam. You got time. Don't worry. No stress about, remember, you guys can always finish on your own as well, but we still have time together. Don't worry. So I think her eyebrows start I'm gonna on. go and get my skin color. No, you have to finish your eyebrows first, okay? Mm. I think your eyebrows is going to start a little bit All right. like this. So I think I'm gonna make my hair like a bunch of crazy different colors, cause you know, good idea. why not? That's gonna be very fun. You know, a few, gonna do a few. You can make, you can use all your favorite colors. What's your guys' favorite colors? I really like uh, like a teal or something. Oh, I love teal. Yeah, light blue is my favorite color. Okay, whichever one. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, that would look crazy. We already built a little. Yeah, I don't really like it. I like it like tiny bit. Tiny. All right, so. Okay, then. Just so I can show you guys. When you color in, sometimes you're gonna feel like your nose is disappearing. So what you can do is you can take a slightly darker color, darker shade of the color you just used. Okay, so if I use like a, I use like a skin tone, I'm using like a slightly darker version of that. Not too dark. Slightly darker version. Not too dark because if you don't want, don't use black or like dark, dark brown or anything because that's not right. You can use like, just like a light, dark brown and you're going to outline your nose. That's one of the one things I don't have. All right, outline your nose up to your eyebrow just like I'm doing. And that's so we can give shadow to show that our show that our drawing like has dimension. Kind of looks like makeup. It does. I love it, Hannah. It's going to go good. I think the ears are a little bit too high. So we're going to 
eyes hurt a little bit. All right, another good place to put I, shadow, guys, is right above the eyelid. Because that's another place where there's a little bit of shadow, right? Because our face isn't just flat, right? We had to show that our face isn't just flat. You can also put it under your chin a little bit. All right. I just okay. finished in teller. Good. You're doing good. Everybody's working at their own pace. Don't worry, okay? I'm going faster so everybody can see what is going to happen because I don't want you guys to not know. All right, so next what you can do is you can add color into your hair and everything else. An important thing to remember is to color your eyes properly, okay? Now listen, everybody has different colored eyes. You can make your eyes different color too. If you want like purple eyes, you can do that. If you want pink eyes, you can do that. Maybe you're wearing colored oh, contacts. Oh, you can mix colors. Yeah, you can mix colors. I have green eyes, so I'm just gonna do green. I'm I like blue like that. Cause I'm like so, blue. Okay, so remember your eyes, I'm gonna okay? I'm going to do light blue. I'm going to do light blue because I have light blue eyes. Nice. Now just remember, when you look at my eyes, right, it's white around, then the color, and then it is black inside, okay? So make sure you do it properly, okay? Because you don't want to color the wrong parts. All right, so green here. Oh, you guys want to the other side, eyebrow. Yeah, but these look too weird. Let me see. They look pretty All right, good. so yeah. green there, and then you guys can use like a uh, your a black or even like a darker like brown or something to do the little dot in the center, your pupil. All right. Then we gotta color it. Come on. No, she can do it later. So you still figure out that one. All right, so everybody can color in their eyes. Good job, Hannah. I love that. All right, now. Color in the makeup? If you are at that point, yes. I know everybody's at different stages, and that is so fine because you guys can keep working on this after. But we're going, now you can keep coloring in everything else, right? So lips. If you want to do lipstick, you can do lipstick, right? That's very rock and roll. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do red lipstick because that's very rock and roll. Yeah, everyone's at your table were fun. You look pretty good to me. Try it again. All right. Try it again. There's my top lip. I'll do my bottom lip. I did my bottom lip like an orange color, actually. I did two different colors for my lips. Come on, honey. Just All right. Cause, so this is really fun because you can kind of do whatever colors you want. Make yourself look like crazy because you have to think you're like a superstar, rock star, right? So whatever color you want. Yes, very nice, Hannah. I love that. <laughs> you guys do purple lipstick. You do orange lipstick. You don't need to do lipstick. Maybe you just have pink lips. <laughs> All right. You can figure out whatever you want to do. Now for hair, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a little bit of blonde, because I'm blonde, with blue yeah. mixed in. With blue mixed in. So I'm going to do maybe blonde here. And then I'm gonna give myself like strips of blue. That's good. Right, so maybe a blue strip up front. Okay. Cause you can kind of make up, you know, this is like your fantasy of what you think you would look like as a rock star. Are we supposed you know? to color the shirt yet? You can color the shirt, sure. If that's the step you wanna do next, you can do that. Mm -hmm. It is up to you. Mm -hmm. All right, and maybe I want to do even other colors in my hair, too. All right, so we're, we still have some time. We're okay. All right, now remember, I'm going to, I'm recording this whole thing, so I will also put it up after, guys, in case you want to re-watch and look over it. All right, but the cool thing about doing the really cool thing about doing art classes online is I teach you the stuff and then you can continue doing it at home. Cause you know how you don't like, nobody likes to be rushed, right? You have all the time in the world to finish it. All right. 
So the very last step is the glitter pens, by the way. All right, your whole drawing needs to be colored. Your whole drawing needs to be colored before you do any glitter pens, okay? Because glitter pens get very messy and they need to be set to dry, okay? I wanna make sure everybody knows that. Cause they're kind of like, almost like a goopy kind of gluey consistency. Wait, should, shouldn't you do what color the lights are? You could do, yeah, you can color the, we can color the lights, whatever color you want. All right. Oh my goodness. I really like coloring because it can be very relaxing. You can really take your time, make sure you're coloring in carefully, no white spots, right? Which I know everybody's doing at home, right? So look, there's one half of my hair with what with blonde and blue, and maybe maybe I'll do like a bun too. Maybe this is my bun. <laughs> All right, maybe I have a strip of blue through this bun as well. All right, you guys, it's all up to whatever you want to do with it. Oh. Also, make sure I just dropped my oil pastel, but be careful when using oil pastels because they can break, which is okay. You can still use them after they break. But you just want to be careful you're not dropping them because then that kind of sometimes they can get stepped on and then they'll get crushed. So you don't want to make sure you don't drop them. Miss Maddie, um, Tutu yeah. did a, made a minor mistake. All right, let's see, Tutu. But I think that's okay, right? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Glitter glue before. before <laughs> that's okay. Just let make sure you let it dry now, okay? Don't color around it because otherwise you don't want to get it too messy, okay? Just let it, cool. like you get it does. It looks super cool. It's uh, it is drawn amazing to you. All right, so make sure you color in everything else and just stay away from that spot, okay? Until it's dry. All right, because then you don't want to get it all over your hands. All right, no worries. We can always figure it out. All right. All right. So I'm also going to do, because I totally forgot my tattoo here, I guess I will color that in as well. Let me see. Let's see, I'm going to do like a light blue and a pink in my lightning bolt tattoo. All right, so you can do whatever colors you guys want. You can really mix and match here. I'm so excited to see these when they're finished. So if you guys, when you guys take the time to finish these on your own time, have your parents send me a photo or maybe I'll make a spot for you to upload it on Google Classroom, whatever's easier. And then I would love to, I'm gonna try to put together an art show virtually for everybody to see at the end of the week. All right. I know you guys are going to make amazing artwork. Sorry. All right. And now, don't forget to color in your jewelry if you have any. I think I'm also going to give myself like an upper arm bracelet to match my necklace. All right. So let me see. So now I just want to show you guys before we're out of time, how to use the glitter pens, okay? And where to use them. So what I, so the glitter pen is like this, right? You take the cap off and it comes out like this, okay? You don't need to squeeze very hard. You can be very light with it, okay? So what you're gonna use the glitter pens for is you're going to do like anything that's kind of like the special things, right? So I'm gonna make my tattoo outline in glitter. 
in the glitter pen, okay? So don't press too hard, just be very light and make sure you're moving while you're using it. All right, like that. Now mine kind of looks like a superhero. Kind of, that's cool. So you see I outlined it in glitter and then I'm gonna use my green glitter, right? And maybe I'm gonna, let me see, I'll outline my hair, my stripe of blue hair. I only finished half my hair, but I just wanted to show you guys this quickly before I ran out of time. All right, see, so you can outline things. You don't need to use too much, okay? You don't want it to get blobby. If it gets blobby, that's not good. All right? Because when it gets blobby, it takes a long time to dry. Okay, so you can use glitter there. You can use, you know, think about, don't use too much, but put it on the things that are special, right? Maybe I'll use the pink on my, um, on my earring as well. I only have two colors. Yes, I only have two colors as well. I only have green and pink. All right. All right, and I'm gonna finish the other half of my hair. It doesn't matter. I'll just choose pink. Anyways, pink is a special color. All right. Okay, so everybody can just finish coloring, adding their special things. I'm so excited to see how these turn out. I know Miss Nina will be very excited to see them too. Yes, Liam? I don't know what to do for the Batman on a night sky. A night sky, huh? Oh, I like your half blue, half blonde hair, Liam. So for your background, let's see, we could do, you could do like stars, like a bunch of stars. Stars are very rock and roll. I already you have could... a bunch of stars in. Right. Okay, so color them in. Color them, you can color them yellow or light blue. I don't know what to do for the around. Maybe purple, dark purple, right? So sometimes the night when you're, it's nighttime, the sky can be like dark blue or dark purple. All right, how's it going, Mia? Is it good? Do you want to show me your drawing? I want to wait until I'm done. Okay, that's fine. Let me see, Hannah. Nice, oh my gosh, that is so rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you, Ruhi? How's it going, honey? Um, I have to a same purple. Nice. Oh, you are doing such beautiful, careful coloring. I love that. All right, Tulia, how's it going, hon? Good? <laughs> Do you want to show me? Let me see. Whoa, I love that. All right, don't forget to color your neck the same color that you colored your face, right? Because that's skin too, and your ears. Are you going to put any special colors in your hair too, yeah? I can see you have pink in your hair right now. That looks really cool. You have a little like pink hair thing there. All right. I'm going to finish up my other side of the head. All right. Now remember, everybody takes their own time. This is the great part about this is you guys can keep going after, right? And then you don't have to feel rushed or pressured. And then you can send it to me after. And I'd love to see it. Yeah. You have to worry about the edge, huh? All right, so the uh, just remember do the glitter at the end because you don't want to oh, 
get too messy because it might get everywhere, which is no fun. And then you're gonna have it everywhere and your mom and, mom and dad are gonna be like, oh, why is there glitter pet everywhere? This is a mess. All right. All right, I did finish my hair. Thank goodness. My hands are, oh, I need to shake out my hands. They're so tired. I see a little crown that says Queen of Rock. Oh, Hannah, I love that. What a great accessory. I love that. That is amazing. And I think I'm going to make my shirt. Let's see, what color? What's a good rock and roll color? Maybe like a dark blue or purple? This is, look. Whoa, that is amazing. So Hannah, just make sure when you're coloring your shirt that you're doing it carefully, okay? Let me show you a trick when you're coloring. I think a bunch of people might know this, but maybe not. When you're coloring in things, a good idea is to first trace around the things you don't want to color in, right? So if I'm going to color my shirt, I'm going to trace around this hair and outline the shirt. This way it helps so that I don't really have white spots. And so I know where I'm going and where I don't want to go, right? So now I kind of have guidelines. Okay. So that's a good way to do it. You want to make sure you don't have any white spots. That's how it looks really good. Yeah, but I think the white spots kind of look that cool. Is. Oh, yeah? I kind know of it's a joker. I look, look. like the joker? <laughs> The way I think the way I, meant, um, cool. I, I understand what you're doing, Hannah, but also you want to make sure it goes to the bottom because otherwise it kind of looks like you're floating, right? No, it's not the way. It doesn't sound like Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Oh yeah, I I agree with that. All right, Ruhi, what step are you up to? Are you doing hair or eyes? Whoa, so now you now you have a lot of choices. What do you want to color next? Um, the necklace. The necklace? Remember, if you guys didn't do it, remember that you have to put a slightly darker shade from your skin color and outline your nose and under your chin and over your eye so that there's shadow there, right? Because you don't want to look like you're, you don't want to look like Flat Stanley, right? Hey. People who are who aren't flat Stanley have shadows on their face, right? Otherwise, you'd be like flat. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody. I think our time is done for this class. But are we gonna do the lunch thing? Not today. Our lunch meeting is on Wednesday. All right. Okay. So Wednesday hey. we'll have a lunch hangout. All right. And we'll see each other and we'll all eat our lunch together. We can bring like pasta or pizza or whatever you're eating that day. And we can eat together and talk, okay? And you can even meet some kids who aren't in this class with us right now who are gonna be doing it. All right, so I, I'm going to see. All right, so I'm gonna sign off, but everybody can keep coloring after, okay? Finish your pieces. Once you've colored everything, you can add glitter to all the special parts, okay? Like jewelry or tattoos, okay? Right? Like maybe my little heart, I'll add a little bit of, I'll add some glitter too, right? But you're not putting glitter everywhere because that's too much. If you use glitter everywhere, then it becomes less special. Yeah. All right? So you want to make smart choices. All right, everybody, I had so much fun making this with you today. I hope you guys had fun. Mm. Do you guys have fun? Thumbs up? Happy? <laughs> all right. Once you're done drawing, make sure you wash your hands well because oil pastel gets all in our fingers. We know. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, all over my hands, too. All right. And then once you're done, have your parents send me a photo so I can try to make an art show for the end of the week. Okay? Yay. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. I had so much fun. I'll see Bye. you next time, okay? Bye. Bye. Bye, Leo.